Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, giving infinite praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha Bashem, Chakudash. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutation to all your sincere occupants across the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama Gaffa from the DC camp. Coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha Bashem, Hakudash, and Fidi Elect. Um, in this video, man, um, I just want to go over this particular article that I read. Um, it kind of, you know, I was early in the morning and, uh, you know, getting to the plantation, you know, as usual, you know, just trying to make sure, um, you know, you are basically aware of what's going on, circumspect, watching the news and different things. Um, and this was just more proof. I mean, we already know. We already know the United States of America is the virgin daughter of Babylon, spoken of in the Bible. That's 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 known. Um, and it's like you just, as we inch in closer and closer to the end of uh, this <clears throat> once upon a time great empire, um, the 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 lewdness, um, you know, the lewdness, the the perversion, all these different acts that were shame. You kind of frowned upon a little bit. You know, you know, within um, America's inception, now it's totally being out there, it's being revealed, and people being honest with this nonsense. And then you hear all the time about Gen, you know, Gen Z, Generation Z, and and it, it, and it dawned on me, and I was meditating on it, and I was like, people call, you know, people have this 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 language when they they call, you know, they name different generations by uh, alphabet uh, letters. And, um, you know, the fact that this generation that we're living in now, the upcoming generation is called um, Generation generation or Gen Z, it, it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, of course, Z being the final character of the, uh, of the alphabet, you know, so it's clear that um, whoever um, basically started that gen generation, whatever, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever, you know, kind of knew that whoever Generation Z was going to be, it was going to be the generation of the end of the world, all right? And this is the end of the world that we're living in, that we're going into, and things are going to uh, continue to intensify. So I just want to get straight to it. As you see right here in this image, Gen Z. Gen Z is about what? It's about meet and video, right? Every, mostly digital, all right? Gen Z is the generation that will easily... Uh, uh, succumb to the image of the beast uh, And of course all the other generations That, that are, are their XY You know XY And all this different generation uh, uh, Baby boomers, bloomers, all that You know all these generations They're all in the mix But then you have this last generation Of upcoming souls that are to Complete degenerates All right. You, even right now you look at the music That's being played, the music that's being played Right now is Gen Z music It's the, it's the, the the end of the world is last generation music. But who's being sucked into this nonsense, into this garbage? All the generations are being sucked into this garbage. You can see a, a old man, he's listening to he's listening to uh, uh Gen Z's music. He's doing he's dressing like a Gen Z. He's so so this is this is that final, final generation that the Lord talked about that's gonna usher um um the end of the world. Right? And it's all part of the scriptures. All right. And that's just through this digital world that you're going to have the mark of the beast, which is the RFID uh, microchip um, uh, implemented. So now this is the article that really, um, you know, it was really, um, it was tough reading this. And, uh, and you know, when I read it, you're going to understand why, you know, it's, 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 it's rough, man, for, you know, for Jake that still wants, still has hope, still wants to have their hopes in America. Um, you know, in Babylon, man, this is what this is what you what you're dealing with now, man. So this is uh, out of Newsweek uh, relationships. It says Fury after fiance confesses to sleeping with dying ex as his final wish. All right. Just the title itself already lets you know it's just total madness. It's madness. So let's read. It says a fiance decision to grant an ex-boyfriend's dying wish was criticized online after her current partner shared exactly what it was. According to the partner who took the Reddit to share his upset in a popular post, the fiancé decided to spend one final night with the ex. So she's she got a fiancé, but her ex first, she's still in communication with her ex, which is, you know, which is definitely 
you know, she's just, you know, out of pocket for that. You know what I'm saying? But the modern day man of the last days is a weak man. That's the reason why the Rothschilds, uh, the Rockefeller, the international bankers, you know, they've tied up the strong man. You know, that generation of so-called strong Edomites and all this, that's gone. That's gone. That's been gone. All right. But that was all, you know, prophesied in the scriptures, all talked about, even in the book of uh, Luke. If you want to take over a house, you got to you got to you got to tie the strong man. All right. And then you got to liberate the women. So the women liberation movements are uh, giving freedom to women to kind of uh, gather abroad. You know, it's that it brings about chaos. And when you have chaos, men cannot focus. And, men, and when men cannot focus, men cannot lead. All right. And it was a slippery slope, but this is something that was started with you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That was an experimentation that started with you Negroes, right? And then when they successfully destroyed our people, right, our, our families and stuff like that, then that whole mindset, that the degeneracy was allowed to then go across, you know, the, the, whole, the whole establishment, all right? And now you're seeing the lewdness, which the lewdness leads to the decay of a nation, all right, and then you're gonna see the famine because the scripture tells you that what that lewdness is the mother of famine. All right, so let's go. It says, according to the partner who took the Reddit to share his upset, his upset, and a popular post, the fiance decided to spend one final night with the ex who has since recently passed away. They were together for six years and split up two years prior to her current relationship. The fiance has remained distant since the funeral and refused to make eye contact, leading the current partner to simply suspect she was grieving the loss of her ex, which is still off. You know what I'm saying? But that's America. You know, a man can't be in control of his, of his, of his woman and his children, which renders a man weak. All right. Because part of the strength of a man is being a, uh, being a protector is having something to protect. If you got nothing to protect, it's like the only thing you're going to protect is your life. All right. And that's all what that's going to do is going to turn you to an extreme narcissist, extremely selfish, which you must have a degree of selfishness, but it has to be balanced. But this society is systematically set up, you know, for men to turn into narcissists, women chasing betas. Right. And then turn into women into basically agents of the state. Women that are able to just destroy your life and then they'll go back to their daddy, the government. All right. And they have all kinds of safety nets for, for what they do. So this is what you're dealing with. This is the perfect hell. All right. The perfect hell is this type of situation, this passive, aggressive nightmare. All right. It says. However, he wrote in the post, he found her crying at home and she confessed her actions. So she came out because, you know, it was in a, it was in her chest. Most women die with that, man. The majority of women would die with that. That's how wicked women are. The scripture tells you that there's no wickedness above the wickedness of a woman. Most women would take that to the grave. She was just one of the weaker women. When I say weaker, meaning weaker in malice. So that's why she couldn't handle it. All right. It says, according to statistics, just less than half of people say they have had sex with an ex. There you go. Well, 44% admitting to the deed in an Adam and Eve survey. For disengaged woman, however, the story was a little less straightforward than a drunken indiscretion or late night text. All right. Uh, let me see. It says right here, she started talking about him and his illness and who was there for him, who wasn't. Why is she worried about this dude? And this is, listen, this is something that's going on everywhere, all the nations. It, man, this thing has been going on in Israel for years, man. But most you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are adultery, man. And all you call it, you just put the stamp on it, you know, the label cheating. Because there, there's no consequences to the word cheating. But you know that a, in, when you commit adultery, that goes back to the law, statutes, and commandments. So therefore, there will be consequences. But the United States of America, which is known as the virgin daughter of Babylon, does not believe in, in the consequences for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Yet at the same time, stating that it's a God, it's a Christian God-following nation, 
You know what I'm saying? But we know that to be lies. We know that the God that rules the United States is Satan, man. It's a spiritual demon, Satan. That's the reason why you see the system, the way it's set up, the lifestyle of the people. And no way in hell when you step out of your house and you see the lifestyle of these people out here, including you Negroes, Spanish, Native American, you wicked Israelites. There's no way you can look at the lifestyle of the people and, and say to yourself, yeah, this is a God-loving people. God is surely is dealing with these people. The scripture says the Lord has a controversy against the people of the land. The word controversy, contra means against, versi means to shoot. Meaning the Heavenly Father wants to shoot against the people of the land. So what is he going to shoot? We're going to find, well, we already know what it is. Thermonuclear missiles. All right, the most High is going to have to rain down fire, man. To burn these people, man. For these actions. It says, she started talking about him and his illness and who was there for him. Who wasn't? She then told me she was con she was contacted she was contacted by him three weeks before his death. Oh wow, wow! So he called he called it he called it three weeks before his death. So this guy this this wicked this wicked dude is in his dying bed, and right before he's about to kick the bucket, he wants to commit one final act of adultery, man. And the scripture says that a uh, uh, most high one of the things the most high hate of it's a, an old adulteress that, that's, still, that's still in his adulterous ways, man. Living a life like that, man. Those, those individuals are dead spiritually. All right? If you believe in going out there sleeping with other, you know, other man's wives, man, listen. You may be breathing, but you're dead spiritually. And eventually the most high is going to turn your lights off, man. It says, she then told me she was contacted by him three weeks ago before his death asking to see her she said she felt hesitant but then went well, you know well, you know how women are man listen what she said next shook me she said he told her about stopping his treatment for a while and how he felt alone and discouraged he proceeded to ask if she could spend one night with him you know that's the spirit of adultery all right. And this is a man who's, who's getting ready to die. He's getting ready to meet his maker. And he wants to do one final act of wickedness. All right. With, with which he calls final wish. He proceeds to ask if she could spend one night with him as his final wish before he passed on. She said she thought about it a lot and felt conflicted, but eventually agreed. His final wish, and I'm going to say this, hopefully I don't get canceled, but his final wish should have been a pillow in his face, if you know what I'm talking about. But um, it says um, the fiance confessed to sleeping with her with her ex, but claimed she did not feel anything for him and simply did it out of guilt. You know, so it says she keeps pleading with me to be understanding of the position she was. She was put in and not wanting to dismiss his request in his last days with the partner. So that's, a, that's, that's, I mean, that's the madness that I read. I was like, man, hold on. All right, this, it says, I still, this is quote, this is what he says. I still don't think it's an excuse to do what she did. She said it wasn't about her or how she felt about him. I still feel like she's wronged me and betrayed my trust and damaged the bond we have together. Of course, man. Her heart, her body was still what would what, what, what do, but... Her mind, man, her mind, her spirit was still with her ex. And women are able to do this, man, because we live in the last days. All right? These are the, the people of the last days. This is the generation of the last days. The women that you see out there, man. And this is, this is something for all the brothers, all of us. You know, we always got to remind ourselves the women that are, uh, that are existing in this season, this generation, the majority of them, were, were meant the reason why they were meant to be born in this se in this season was so that they could be judged for all of their sins that they committed over reincarnations. All right, these are you know the majority of these these are not a majority again. These are not the women that the Most High created to be our future wives and and uh, um, you know to help push our legacies uh, um, forever and ever. These these are not the the women. The majority of these women. Were, were made for this time to be put to death, to be judged, all right? So once you make peace with that, you know, it helps you kind of deal with um, why things ain't working out the way you may want it to work out, all right?
So it's like you got to ask yourself, like, you want to build a relationship with somebody that's on death row? Ask yourself that. You want to have children with a woman that, that, that's on death row? You know, that's the mindset that I have. You know what I'm saying? So let's get some, uh, that, that was, you know, that was, that's exactly what happens. But the fact that she granted that wish and, and, and this, this, these are the things that happen. And it happens so often now, it's, it's just like almost as if it's a game. But it's not a game, all right? So let's go to Exodus 20 and 14. It says, thou shalt not commit adultery. Plain and simple. That's a law. Thou shalt not commit adultery. What is adultery? Adultery is when, when, when you have a married, a, a, woman is, a woman has a man and she sleeps with another man. That is adultery. Adultery is not a man sleeping with, uh, 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 a man that's married to a woman and sleeping with another woman. No. If that man is married to a woman, Right, sleeps with another woman that's also taken, then he's committed adultery. All right, because polygyny, right, polygyny is biblical. Polygyny is biblical. I'm gonna say that again. Polygyny, which is a man having multiple uh, female partners, is biblical. Now, you somebody would say, well, what about the instance in the New Testament? When in Timothy, when it speaks about Titus, when it speaks about a man or one wife, well, it, that that if you read that chapter, Paul was talking about the elder bishops of the church that was going to take upon themselves the responsibility to watch over the congregation. Paul suggested, and that 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 in itself wasn't even a law, you know. Paul, that's why Paul constantly said, "Well, this is an advice." Paul never said, yo, the law is you got to, he gave an advice that, yo, if you want this position, that's what you should be because of the responsibilities. And we broken that down before, all right? So let's go to uh, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. It says, and the man that committed for adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed for adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer, right, the grimy scumbag that was, that, that that was dying and the adulteress and the the, the 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 fiance right that that listened to the final wish and made it happen shall surely be put to death so she's gonna die that guy he's already dead right and and hopefully hopefully he, he's an edomite so he, he'll come back in reincarnation and serve hardcore slavery you know she's gonna be put to death you know for this action and when the death comes Right? They're going to be out here. Her family going to be out here crying, putting wings on her, talking about how she was an angel. When this, these are the things that she did. And this are, these are the wicked acts that are, that are taking place in America on a daily. And when people get smoked and people get killed and horrible deaths, car crashes, all these different things. DJs falling off, 12-story uh, buildings. Everybody like, well, how did that happen? Yeah, that's the judgment of the Lord. Because you don't know the actions that these people do on a day-to-day -day basis. And they think that they can get away with it. Because swift judgment doesn't come immediately, like the scripture said, it's fully set in the heart of man to do wait, to do evil. All right, but the Most High through through His Son Yahusha gonna put an end, an end to this thing once and for all, man. This is Proverbs twenty and thirty. It says, "Such is the way of an adulterous woman; she eateth and wipeth her mouth, meaning she'll do dirt, and then she act like she ain't do nothing, and say if I have done no wickedness." You think she came out the whole, she kept crying. She held that thing for a while, man. But she was one of the weaker ones as far as malice, as far as keeping malice in her heart. That's the reason why she couldn't, she couldn't hold it. All right. Majority of women go, go to their grave with, 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 you know, with their abominable acts, man. You know, that's that spirit of Jezebel that, 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 that's all that we all know of, man. The women dying in wickedness. No repentance, no trying to make it right. It's just, I'm going all the way, man. All the way, man. So, um, this is uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 26. But I should, I, actually, I'm going to start at 25. It says, but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. All right? And that's the thing. That the generation that rejected Yahweh Shah back then, same generation is back now. Um, rejecting Yahweh Shah, you know, he's being excommunicated out of the minds of a lot of Israelites, and even you got Jakes that called themselves coming back to the, you know, to their nationality and understanding, but then yet still reject the main reason why we even we we were even given an opportunity 
to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is Yahweh Shah. Not calling his name properly, you know, not 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 uh, 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 putting him on the pedestal, right? All these different things, man. So going against the order that he set up, you know, distrusting the the, 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 the knowledge that he's given us. Which the knowledge he's given us is, is certain knowledge that the Lord has given us. You know, it's not through flesh, flesh and blood, man. It's straight from the Holy Spirit. You know, it says verse twenty six, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the, also in the days of the Son of Man, which is the days of the return of Yahweh Shah. It said they did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. All right, and that's gonna happen again. All right, and this time Noah, basically Noah is really the elect now, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, 144,000 and one third. All right, it's the elect now, man. All right, building up the spiritual ark, which is you know pushing his word, you know uh, to the best of our ability. All right, uh, and the way we deal with each other, you know, trying to make sure we fulfill the first two important commandments. You know, love, uh, 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 you know, love Yahweh by Shemir Shah, worship Yahweh by Shemir Shah with all that mind, body, and spirit. And then, you know, uh, uh, you know, treat your neighbor as thyself. You fulfill those two, that's how you built that spiritual ark. But then, back then the water came down. This time the fire is going to come down, man. It's going to be thermonuclear missiles, ICBMs, in the climax of the Third World's War. All right? For what? The actions and the wickedness of the people, man. All right. So let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. It says, A wicked and adulterous generation. All right. It says, A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Right. So this wicked and sinful generation, they're all acting wild and crazy and perverse, but they still don't fully, they don't. Fully, they don't truly believe that it's the end times. Although they act the way that this generation acts, they acts they act exactly the way you would see a generation of the last days act. But yet they don't believe because they want to see a sign. All right, they want to see signs that okay, well, especially you, Jake, because that's that's what that's who you know the, the the salvation is for. Majority of Jake's they, they want to see signs. They want to see spiritual powers. They want to see. On different things, but the Lord's not gonna give you that. The Lord is gonna give you what He's always given, which is a prophet. And you all you're gonna be forced to have faith and believe in Yahweh Bashim Shah and believe in his prophets, like it states in Second Chronicles 20 and 20. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Shah and believe in his prophets. If you're not if you're not gonna do that, guess what? You what you're gonna believe is is what you're gonna see and what you're gonna feel when that fire comes down, man. Alright. Mark 8 and 38 it says whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels right and that, we're definitely not ashamed we out there in the highways and the edges putting our faces out there putting our lives on the line out in the, you know internet highways right phones being tapped all these different things we know the enemy is watching us carefully you know what I'm saying? But we don't care. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep condemning this place, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemir Shah. That's what we do. This is our lot as prophets. All right? And we're not going to stop until the Heavenly Father established the glory of, of Yasha Allah on this planet Earth. In this season. All right? In this season. Not no other season. Not no other generation. Not, not, not for our kids and grandkids. Right? No. This fucking season. All right? And uh, this is uh, Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 It says for behold the day cometh That shall burn as an oven Alright And then look at the subtitle final admonition Final warning For behold the day cometh That shall burn as an oven And all the proud yea all, And all that do wickedly shall be stubble And the day that cometh shall burn them up Saith the Lord power of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So the Heavenly Father is going to totally wipe this place out by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? That's after the Bible. 
Verse 2, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. The son of righteousness is talking about Yahweh Shai and the angels. He's going to come down and, um, and, and deliver and beam up his elect right before the thermonuclear missiles, you know, hit ground. Right before the fire comes out. It says, and ye shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. All right. And I'm going to finish with this. This is chapter, uh, Luke 21. Luke 21 and um, 30. It says, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. All right. So we're able to tell what season it is, man. It says, so likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand. Verse 32, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away to all be fulfilled. What generation is that? It's the generation we in. All right. And then you see that Gen Z, generational Z, with all the challenge. I had a, I had a, that's why I had that right here, man. That's the generation of, the generation of uh, 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 um, digital generation, online education, dance challenges, crazy ass challenges that they got out there, VR. You know, virtual reality. All right, you got people out here marrying. I seen it the other day, man. This 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 Ammonite. You know, he's in love with an anime character, and they got married. He got married to an anime uh, anime character, and they had to make a cart box, a, a body of the anime character that he got supposedly married. What kind of madness is that, man? How you you know what I'm saying? And you know, social networking. Gadgets, social networking. You ain't, you are nobody in 2022 unless you in that, and you are here social. Uh, you have social media and and have a whole bunch of followers, man. Some women won't even look your way. They won't even talk to you unless you are established in this in this society socially. So that's a generation in the last days, man. All right, and this generation shall not pass away to all be fulfilled, man. So basically, that's all I had, man. Carl Halayim, like you, how about you, man? Shout double honors to our pastor, Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutation, T. Sensei. I can cause fall winds. Stay strong, stay faithful. Shalom.